And that's how you do it. Good old muzzle loader. Hey, what is up, hunters? Chad Lingus Gaming. Today, I am back with a brand new The Hunter Call of the Wild video for you guys. And today, we're going to be doing a review on Mississippi Anchors on The Hunter Call of the Wild. Give you guys my review on what I think about the map and if it's worth buying. Of course, this is a DLC. It's on special on Steam. And I know I haven't been posting it for quite a while. A lot of things changed. Uh, I'll show you guys a clip on why I wasn't posting. <laughs> Nice shots, dude! <laughs> nice shots! Yeah! So, yeah, as you guys can see, I've been hunting a lot, working a lot, and didn't really have time to actually play video games. And as you guys can see, I did buy a PC also. So we're not on PS4 anymore, which is a great upgrade. And, uh, yeah, so I've been thinking about posting videos. A lot of people have been requesting me posting more, and I've got quite a lot of viewers now. So... That's why I decided posting again. Better quality, a lot more updates to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Also, as you guys can see, I'm level 13. I used to be max level, but uh, yeah, I had to restart because, of course, I'm on PC now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is just going to be a review. If you should buy the, the DLC of Mississippi Anchors, I'll tell you guys a lot more on the animals, what you can do, what you can hunt, and if it's worth your money. So I hope you guys enjoy. And of course, the white-tailed deer. We're gonna take this guy out. Little buck right here. Kind of a long shot. Um, oh, I missed it. Is he gonna drop? The doe looked like it dropped. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Um, I have no idea how far they can spot us from. I would like to take this guy out with my 12 gauge. There we go. Made in call. So this is the doe I shot. Uh, she dropped instantly compared to the buck. Who ran left a little bit. Oh, it was a spinal cord shot. So a little doe, I tell deer, oh, he's not alert, he's still doing those mating calls. Oh, he might flee right here. Is that it? Well, the 10 gauge shotgun does it, folks. Look at that nice tom. I'm surprised. I haven't really played. With the 10 gauge shotgun, I haven't played a lot, but I'm surprised. This thing does some damage. 100% diamond trophy type combined. 10 kilograms, brown, level 2 male. 100% XP and a diamond turkey. Let's go. It's my first diamond on PC, folks. 1,228. This is the buck I shot terrible shots actually now with the new mississippi anchor dlc they do include a new firearm and six different new animals added to the game the new faces include the eastern wild turkey eastern cottontail rabbit northern bob white quail gray fox common raccoon and american alligators now these are fun animals to hunt of course and they also have the wild boars black bears and course the white-tailed deer because it is like quite a swampy type of map which i'm very surprised they didn't add mallard ducks shooting your alligators is quite hard to actually harvest um they do go under the water which is challenging but they did add a bolt action footy to horn it for the coons which is also pretty cool and a new raccoon call which i do find strange at times Okay, I've got coons all over the place. So, another thing that I... A little bit non-realistic. Is that they make coons... 
for me, I do hunt coons in real life. A little sad that they didn't add that, like, that coons would actually climb trees. They just run around in front of you and stuff. So, if they could add that, that would be really appreciated. Just like I was saying earlier about coon hounds and actually treeing coons. That would be awesome hunting them at night. But So, this is what a coon looks like. Oh, this is a gold. Level 3 male. Nice. So, oh, here we go. Got one coon. Another level 3. Mating calls. Oh, these are far shots. That was quite a long shot. I got him! Distance almost 200 meters away with the 22. Silver, level 3 male, 887. So they do give you a lot of cash, and they are very easy to hunt literally everywhere. What I also like about this game is the different outposts. Every outpost is almost different, and the added details inside of the outposts. It's actually pretty good details. Some are the same, some are not, as you guys can see. Got your little white tail buck right there. Got a pheasant, and uh, got your bed upstairs. As you guys can see, this is a picture of the actual map of Mississippi Anchors, and to be honest, the map is pretty damn small. Quails are also very hard to hunt. Um, they do fly off pretty fast. So we've got our quail here. Little male. Two hits. As you guys can see, only a silver level 2 male gives you a lot of cash. And that's mostly because they are hard to hunt. So we do have a turkey here. Oh, here he is. So grab the 10 gauge. Here he is. Nice little Tom. Second one. You guys can see. Gold. Nice. Oh, only two hits on that one. So, sometimes you'll actually see them just chilling on the shores like this. Most of the time, they are in the water. Uh, you can spook them with the M1 Grand. 30 yards 6. Man, these guys are tough. I don't know if this happened to anyone else, but this happened to me probably three times. Um, when I shoot an alligator, as you guys can see, I've got two vital organ hits right here, even three. Um, also, it rains a lot in this map, by the way. You guys didn't know, it rains. And when the alligators actually run into the water, I just lose them completely. It's almost like if they despawn or something. This happened to me three times. Got a level 7 hard American alligator. This could be good. There's two. I might shoot this one another time. Oh, I can't hold my breath long enough. Flash. So we've got a couple vital organs hit. It looks still alive. So this was the level 5 I shot. Oh, here he is. That was the level 7 I shot. There's another one here. Oh, level 6. This will confirm this one. Gold. Here we go. Level 7, very hard. Gold. Oh my god, there's one right here. Level 7 hard. Here we go. And we've got a croc right here. And here he is. Bronze.
ones. Level four. All right, so we've got a gray fox, female. Take her out right now. And she dropped instantly. First gray fox in Mississippi anchors. Nice. Yeah. Improper ammo for this animal. Not too surprised. They do give a lot of cash and they are quite, quite tricky to hunt. Alright, so we've got some wild hogs. And this guy's like right here. So we're going to take him out. That's one. Hey, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on my review on Mississippi Anchors. I do know that there is mostly gameplay. That's because I was trying to harvest the most exotic new animals that the Hunter Call of the Wild added to the game. Um, it really depends on you guys. Right now it's on special on Steam. I don't think the map is terrible. Um, I certainly wouldn't recommend it um, if you compare it to other maps like Yukon Valley. And much more, actually, they've got in stores. It is on special for all the PC players out there if you guys want to purchase it. Um, but it really comes down to you guys. The map is small. It does rain a lot. Um, there's not a lot of choices. There's not a lot of animals to shoot, except a lot of small game. But, of course, there's the American alligator, white-tailed deers, black bears, and a couple big game animals. But if you guys want to purchase it, saw on you guys this was just my little review i wanted to make and because i haven't posted in a long time so if you guys enjoyed today's video leave a like subscribe and see you next time